Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing the August 2019 DVD and Blu-ray update video. So first, I want to apologize. I came home for Labor Day weekend and got a cold, so that's why I sound like this. But uh, without further ado, I want to get into this, so hopefully it won't be too long because I got a lot of stuff this month. Alright, so first up with the DVDs is I got the... Ace Ventura Pet Detective bonus disc, which is uh, the only way that you can get episodes of the animated series. And I just happened to be at like an antique store or whatever, and they were selling these bonus discs without the entire set. So I probably paid a little too much for this. It was like $2.95 or something. But it upgraded one of my VHSs that I had, and I was happy to have gotten it. So this only has, this has three episodes. Hopefully at some point we will get a full release of the Ace Ventura Pet Detective uh, animated series. Then I have this. I got this at a random store that I saw advertised on Facebook. I uh, live close to St. Louis, so that's usually where we go when we want to go shopping. And we went up to St. Louis for some last minute school shopping before I went back to college. And I was like, I want to stop at this place. So we stopped. And they had their DVDs were $2. Their um, Blu-rays were $4. And the television series were $3. So I gave a gander. I didn't really look at the DVDs because I would have been in there forever because that's what they had the most of. But I looked at the Blu-rays and the TV shows. And I got a couple things. So this is one of the first things that I got. So this is the television show of uh, Sleeper Cell. And this was on Showtime. And I believe this was only on for one season. So it, this is the complete series. So that was pretty cool. And that was $3. And when I come home for break, I usually like to go to some of the antique and thrift stores around to see if they've gotten anything new in. And so, I just so happened to go to this one, um, a Ministerial Alliance thrift store, and I found this, and I don't really know anything about it. It was $2.75, but this is the complete first season of 30-something, but this is the Shout Factory release of it. So, I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, you don't really see Shout Factory or Scream Factory titles at like thrift stores and stuff so I thought that that was pretty cool. The thing that uh, I am a little upset about and I don't know if you'll be able to tell but right here is where their sticker was and it took some of the ink off of the thing so that really sucked and by the time that I had realized that I was doing that it was too late and it was already screwed up so I am a little upset about that but I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. The next thing also came from an antique store, and this is Zeus and Roxanne. This is a upgrade to from a VHS. I used to, I remember I used to watch this VHS all the time. I haven't seen this movie in a long time though, so that kind of sucks. But um, I now have it on DVD. Um, it was an HBO home video release, so that was kind of interesting. But I, I look forward to rewatching that. I also picked this up. This was, I think it was only like a dollar or something. Two dollars, I think. Um, this is the Nick and Jessica variety show. So this is Jessica Simpson and uh, Nick Leahy. I think that's how you say his name. And so it looks interesting. Like on the back, there is like Kermit and stuff. So I thought I would uh, pick it up and give it a shot. Because I, I don't know, I never really heard, heard of it before. I also picked this up from a thrift store. And this was a dollar. And it's in actually really good condition. So this is called the U.S. vs. John Lennon. Um, it also comes with a slipcover. And this was a Paramount and VH, VH1 release. Um, I don't know what year this came out. It, it, it's a documentary. And so I look forward to giving this a shot. I also picked this up, which is a upgrade to a VHS that I have, and this is Toys, 
and I'm pretty sure that this release is out of print. It looks like that there's a little bit of um, water damage to this uh, artwork. You can't really, I mean, you can kind of tell, but it, the disc was fine. I was, I, was, I was okay with it because I'm pretty sure this is an out of print title. So, and it's for my collection, so I'm, it's not like I'm going to try to sell it or anything. But I'm pretty happy to have found this. This is a weird Robin Williams movie that I had never heard of before until I found it on VHS. And so it's got um, Robin Williams in it, of course. It's also got Joan Cusack, uh, Robin Wright, and Michael Gambon in it. And Michael Gambon's from Harry Potter. He was Dumbledore. So it's a, it's a very eclectic group of people. So... I figured we would uh, give it a shot. I also picked this up at one of the antique stores for $3. This is the uh, season one of Pawn Stars. And, you know, the show is one of those things that you, like, put on in the background and you just watch it. I always think people are so stupid when they go in and they get their thing appraised and it's, like, worth $10,000. And uh, Rick is like, oh, I'll give you 2000 And the, the people agree to it. Like, just because you do that doesn't mean that you have, just because you're there doesn't mean that you have to accept their offer. I would have taken it and tried to sell it my, on my own. But it also, it's the first season and it includes all 14 episodes, so that's kind of cool. Then we have um, another upgrade from VHS. Uh, that was one of the big themes of this month was trying to upgrade a bunch of the VHSs that I had since I've started selling VHSs on eBay. I have sold a ton and it's been kind of ridiculous. I haven't, did not know how many people wanted VHSs still. So I've been selling a bunch of them. So this was one of the ones that I had sold and this is Max Keeble's Big Move. And this was a movie that I used to watch all the time when I was younger and I uh, recently watched it after I got this DVD. And it's, it's a fun ride. It's definitely for, um, young kids but you know sometimes it's fun to go back and rewatch the things that you've watched when you were young so I picked this up from a thrift store as well this was a dollar and I just thought it seemed interesting so this is an HBO documentary film and this is called Plastic Disasters and when I first saw it because all I saw was the spine I was like, plastic disasters, that sounds like something environmental or whatever. No, this is about plastic surgery. So, that's kind of interesting. I, um, it's definitely fascinating, the, these people that get plastic surgery from unreputable people and are essentially disfigured and stuff. So, I thought this would be an interesting movie to watch. It came out in 2006. So I I look forward to that. Now this is the one that is an upgrade from a VHS that I had and I also have done a review on it. So I will put a little iCard up there so you can watch the review if you're interested. But this is the Murder 101 and this was a pretty, I enjoyed this movie. It sounds very familiar from another, I was talking to somebody about this and they basically described another movie that was very similar to this, um, but this was a TV movie that uh, starred Pierce Brosnan in it, so I would definitely recommend checking it out if you can um, can find it. I don't think that it is um, streaming anywhere uh, currently. It looks like it was an NBC Universal release, so maybe on the new NBC Universal streaming service they'll have this, but it, the DVD is pretty cheap. It's only like, I think I paid six or seven dollars for it. So, um, there's that. I also picked this up brand new and this is Little Monsters and this is, um, Howie Mandel and Fred Savage in it. Um, I have not ever seen this before, but Shanti Phillips on Cool Duder, uh, that YouTube channel, he talks about this movie all the time. So, I look forward to watching this. This was brand new when I bought it, and it was $2, um, so that was pretty cool. I also picked this one up. This is another movie that um, 
I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. I did not have this on any format though. But this is Disney's The Country Bears. Um, I remember this used to be on Disney Channel all the time. And I had thought that it was a Disney Channel original movie and turns out it's not. And I also didn't know this, but that this movie is based off of a attraction at one of the Disney parks. Um, so that was actually kind of cool as well. I mean, the movie's a little creepy with these um, giant bears, but it's kind of interesting. We then have another upgrade from VHS, and this is Disney's American Legends. So uh, I had this VHS and ended up selling it. So it looks like there are uh, stories from, it says John Henry, Paul Bunyan, Johnny Appleseed, and the Brave Engineer. So, uh, I remember watching this a long time ago, and but I'm happy to have been able to upgrade it. I also picked this one up from a thrift store, or not, a thr um, from an antique store, flea market thing. And this is the complete and final second season of Dirty Sexy Money. I do not have the first season, but this was basically um, in brand new condition. I checked all the discs and stuff. And it was only $3, and I knew it was a show that I had been interested in before. So I figured I would buy it um, and then try to find the first season so then I can watch it all and understand it. I um, found this one on eBay, and it, I was like going through looking to see if there are movies that I could upgrade from VHS. I had one VHS from this television series, so it's like... I'll see, and I found this, and I had put it in my watch list, and the seller was like, if you want to buy this, he had made like a special offer or something, he's like, if you want to buy this, I would do it for $10 free shipping, and I was like, uh, yeah, I'll do it. So this is the real world Las Vegas, this, uh, I guess came out in 2011, I used to watch The Real World. Um, I think the last one that I remember watching completely was The Real World, Washington, D.C. And I really liked that one. And so this one uh, is Las Vegas. And I thought for $10, I would pick this up. Because this is one of those burn-on-demand things. And those can get pretty pricey. I also picked this one up. This is the complete first season of Resurrection, and this was a TV show on ABC, and I watched this first season. I remember watching it completely. It kind of has a feel of The Returned, uh, where these people go missing, and then years and years later, they come back, and they're unaged and all that. So that was pretty cool. I don't really remember what happened in the second season. Um, probably nothing really that good because it got canceled. But this was definitely a big thing around where I live because it is a... It's from the town. There's like a town that's named the same thing in the show where these people are from in Missouri. So it was kind of cool. Then I have these two, which one I bought off of eBay and then one I bought from the store I mentioned a while ago saying that they had like $3 TV shows. So this first one is uh, Greek Chapter 3. So I had previously had Chapters 1 and 2 and now I've got Chapters 3 and this one is Chapter 5. So I think it goes all the way up to Chapter 6. So the only ones I'm now missing are Chapters 4 and Chapter 6. So really happy with this. This one's actually the Shout Factory release of it, and I was able to get this one for $3, so that was really nice. This also came from the same store, and this is called Moonlight, and this is like a werewolf TV show. I don't know what channel this was on, but it only lasted one season, um, so not sure. I, I like to watch a lot of movies, or a lot of TV shows that only lasted one season or one or two seasons because it's not a very big time commitment and there's a lot of stuff that goes into the cancellation of a show and most of the reason that shows get canceled are not enough people are watching them 
So that doesn't mean that the show is bad, it just means that it's not reaching an audience or their marketing campaign was not good and people just don't understand what the show is about. But there's a lot of shows that I own because I was in a... I wanted to buy a lot of them uh, so I could watch them because that's usually the only way that you can watch the shows like that. But there's a lot of really good shows that have only lasted one season. And then, uh, last but not least for the DVDs are uh, Murder 1 Season 1 and Murder 1 Season 2. So, this was a show that I had never heard of before, but I picked these up at Big Lots. And I had a coupon, so they ended up being a lot cheaper than what... Um, they were like probably like half off, buy one, get one. And a lot of people on the um, Blu-ray.com were talking about um, the show and getting it. And I was like, you know what, I'll pick it up. And it looked interesting. Um, Stanley Tucci is in, uh, at least the first season. So I was like, you know, uh, I'll pick that up and give it a shot. For only, it would have only been $10 for the entire series because there was only two seasons. Um, and I ended up getting it for $5 for both, so that was really cool. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stick around and watch the Blu-ray section. I've gotten a lot on there. Too many to post in this video as well. So I hope you guys will stick around and go check that video out now. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about what I picked up. If there's anything you like, anything you don't like. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below. It really means a lot. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.